Hello traders, this is Rich from TradeSite. This is the market preview for FOMC Wednesday this week. This is going to be for uh, Wednesday, June 18th, 2014. We're going to get our uh, FOMC decision on Wednesday and also uh, the uh, press conference, which sometimes can uh, actually uh, move the market as well. So we got uh, uh, hopefully a volatile day to look forward to with some um, with, with some kind of a bias and some kind of a uh, some kind of a uh, of a direction for us to play. Market was just kind of uh, marking time today, not really doing too much um, as it did yesterday. So we really don't have too much new technically. Uh, the market internals, however, were pretty positive. We're plus 700 issues on the New York side and plus uh, 1,000 issues on Nasdaq. So while the market didn't do too much internally, uh, it was uh, it was fairly strong. Let's move on and take a look at the uh, at the major futures contracts and see what they have to tell us. First up, let's take a look at the the, uh, the Dow Jones futures. These are the YM contracts. You see that we uh, got up to the 10 EMA, but we are still below it. So basically, just kind of just just uh, holding ground here in these last three days. Obviously, the level to take is going to be the six ace level, and it'll be the uh, and if we uh, roll to the downside, the uh, the low of this move, this little mini range is going to be important at about 1650, and then below that, we're going to be talking about uh, the, uh, the 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 uh, 50 period moving average. The ES futures look uh, similar, but uh, slightly stronger, with uh, a nudge above the 50, above the uh, 10 EMA on the uh, short term here. So a little less well defined here with the range, but uh, essentially the same key levels. The level to watch is going to be the high on the move, which is uh, 1955. To the downside, the uh, 5 ace level at 1906 will be important, and then the uh, previous range high here, about 1894, is going to come into play after that. Bonds today were uh, were a little bit a little bit sloppy, pulling back to the downside here. We have resistance as we uh, thought we were going to at this four ace level, so that's going to be an important area, especially with the uh, the rate decision coming out tomorrow. So we're basically in a band between four ace and three ace, and a break either way uh, will re resolve this uh, this range that we've been in and be important to the market. Oil futures today were lower. Uh, Settling right around that uh, eight ace area at 106.25, we're uh, now now eight bars up in the uh, startup phase. So if we do continue to the downside, we're going to have key support here at first touch with the 10 EMA, which is also roughly coincident uh, to this previous high. To the upside, the, the plus one ace level uh, will come into play, and then above that, the uh, plus two ace level at 109 and three ace. Gold futures, real quickly, haven't really been all that interesting. We're still just kind of sideways here. We do have a little bit of a of a MACD uh, positive situation here, but we've now gone nine bars up here and really haven't covered too much ground. It didn't really get a good shot at the 50 period moving average. There was a little bit, little bit of relative strength in the uh, in the Nasdaq side of the market. The BTK didn't do too much, but the uh, semiconductors were again very very strong. You can see the socks there. The blue line is breaking out again to new highs. So. This is just a good example of the relative strength that's present there, and uh, definitely want to be working that and taking advantage of that while it's still present in the market. All right, let's take a look at the individual sectors here and get into their charts. What we're going to do is take a look at the uh, relative rankings here. The broker dealers were top gun. The uh, BKX was pretty strong. The airlines uh, had a nice bounce back day, and as we talked about before, there was good relative strength in the socks. Transports weren't too bad; they actually outperformed. But we did have that uh, that uh, br little 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 mini break in the uh, in the crude prices, and that weighed on the uh, energy stocks. The OSX was lower, the XOY was lower, and the last lagger today was the uh, was the BTK. The BTK kind of uh, taking a little bit away from the Nasdaq luster. Here's a look at the XAL, the airline index. You can see we it was strong today, but really didn't didn't do too much to uh, change change the trend. They really need to get a close back above the 10 EMA to reverse this, get back up to the 8 ace level, and then perhaps uh, finish this uh, this seeker exhaustion that's uh, that's in play right now. All right, next up is the BKX. The BKX actually had a little more uh, impressive day than the. Uh, than the airlines, even though the airlines have more relative strength, but we did get a, a better close back up towards the, the high of this range. There was some pretty good strength in some of the uh, in some of the uh, different components. Um, Goldman Sachs, which is a different, not a component of this per se, but was uh, 
is definitely one of the leading financials. Was real strong today. If we do continue back to the upside, uh, the seven eighths level at uh, just just around seventy two dollars is going to be uh, going to be in play. To the downside, if they don't like the uh, decision tomorrow or the uh, language, we're going to have a big level here where the fifty is approximately approximately in uh, in location with this uh, four eighths level. So that's going to be a pretty big area there. Semiconductors um, still getting it done, still pushing to the upside here. Uh, note that we are in the overbought territory on the uh, GAN box, but we're still fairly early in the uh, in the uh, in the countdown phase of the seeker. CCI isn't totally overcooked yet, so that may may give us a little bit more room. But this this is starting to get fairly extended, though it did have a pretty good uh, recharge right back in here. So this plus one ace level is going to be a big area, and then two ace. Uh, if we start to accelerate and go a little bit parabolic here, is going to be the one to watch. We're going to have key support at 625, which is going to be uh, going to be probably pretty strong for the first touch, uh, and then and then the uh, 10 EMA is just a little bit below that. Transports today still below the 10 EMA. Got to get above that, and then they're going to have to grapple with this uh, 8 ace level, and then these highs up here in the overbought territory. So this is this is a challenge chart right now. It doesn't mean it can't go higher for now. It probably needs to do a little work to the downside here to really uh, uh, kind of recharge the batteries, or it can just go sideways depending on which way they want to play that one. Oil services today, as we talked about, was uh, was kind of sloppy, but uh, still above the 10 EMA, which is a positive. Still have this uh, kind of a double top in place here, and uh, have to see how far they want to take this. But uh, breakout here in a, in a new high would probably wind up frame shifting this, which would be a really really strong development for the bulls. BTK index was uh, last laggard and is uh, struggling here. You can see it's still well below the previous high. If they do, in fact, walk this all the way up to the 4 ace level, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be pretty extended off of this uh, little little pivot. Uh, it's probably going to take some news to really get it moving uh, a little bit better. Let's talk about the market internally here as we wrap up for today. The uh, the Nasdaq side of the market is is still in the recovery mode, uh, still uh, still well below the previous high, but it is trying to make some progress. Taking out this previous high here would definitely be uh, a big plus for the market. But the important one here is up up top. This is the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line. Um, still positive, still doesn't have any qualified lower lows in place. So this is really the one that's important. I mean, the Nasdaq leads. Nasdaq did break, but the uh, New York side did hold pat. So we're always looking for the New York side to be the ultimate arbiter. And we haven't seen that uh, that break yet, so this is definitely still uh, a very positive uh, force in the market, and something that the bulls can continue to point to until it turns. And finally, here's a look at our 10-day trend, the uh, kind of over oversold, over overbought oscillator. Right now, we're moving back up towards uh, towards the middle of the uh, neutral area, but we are are still closer to the uh, overbought rather than oversold area. So a couple of, a couple of very strong days in the market could could give us uh, that uh, key overbought reading at 0 0.85 or lower. That's uh, definitely something we want to uh, be on guard for. But uh, but for now, we, we, we definitely have some room in the tank still uh, to move up if they want to do that. And obviously, if they want to go down, there's plenty of room to go to the downside before we get anywhere near an oversold reading at uh, the 1.35 area. All right, folks, trade smart tomorrow. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff coming on. Um, also, be prepared for a kind of barbell volume tomorrow. Probably have some decent volume in the morning, and then it tends to get kind of quiet over lunch, unless there's some kind of news to drive things. Uh, you have kind of a quiet period into the uh, into the uh, FOMC release. Uh, the one thing to watch out for, though, is if if we do have a bias in the morning, and then that bias holds over lunch, and we do not retrace in that middle third of the day before the rate decision. Those are the days that usually lead to a, a decent move after the decision. A lot of times there's not much of a move after the decision, but if we do take a directional move, hold that move over lunch and do not retrace, uh, probability favors that after the announcement we're going to continue in that same direction, so be on guard for that. Alright folks, as always, thanks for listening. This has been Rich for TradeSite.